Hey guys, hope you're doing well. This is going to be a reading for my collective. Okay, um, hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. All right, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be found there. All right, if you guys are interested in purchasing my book, you guys could go on Amazon. It's called A um, Awakening, A Person's Guide to Healing and Manifesting by Louis Casada. Or you could go on the description box all the way towards the bottom. You'll see it right there. All right, guys? Let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, I'm going to use some of these tea leaves um, messages here. Some of you could be going through, like, a spear here. A heartache. Okay, um, heartache over what you no longer have. Okay, so this could be you or this could be your person. Somebody took you for granted here. So, let's see. I forgot it's very good. It's a good looking link. Clear and precise messages for my collective. Guys, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. All right, let's see. What do we got? All right, so October could be significant. You could be dealing with a Libra for some of you. You got here funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. I feel like a lot of people are learning some sort of lesson here. Okay, you got here dagger, fear, worries, tense, and uh, tense situation. Yeah, there's a period of frustration, lessons to be learned. So these people here are in fear. They are worried. Okay, some of you have learned your lesson here. Okay, for some of you, you guys had somebody who backstabbed you. Okay, with that dagger. All right, you could be worried about this person. Something about a cat, a two-faced friend. For some of you, this is a friend. Okay, it could be a friend. It could be a family member. All right, they might have a cat. You got here, wall. There's some sort of misunderstanding here. Okay, and then we have October. Maybe things in October will get better. Okay, but let's see. What else we got? This is a big-ass deck, so sometimes... There's extra cards that come out that will make sense later on. All right, what do we got for my collective months of the year? Here we go again. All right, so June could be significant. June is the lovers. Okay, you got here barrel. So you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. All right, you could be dealing with someone who's older. All right, you got here older woman. Okay, so dealing in relationship, uh, dealings or relationships with an older woman. What is this older woman here? This person could be a Gemini for some of you. All right, you got Axe, forces working against you. This older woman could be like a mother figure or something. There's somebody here. Could be an ex. Okay, but um, an ex-mother-in-law or something like that is what I'm picking up here. Forces working against you. All right, you got here Unicorn. So use your intuition to make beneficial changes in your life at this time. All right, and then you got here scales. Again, Libra energy, balancing things out. Keep your life in balance. What else we got? All right, you got here not, unsuccessful plan. So somebody here, their plans is unsuccessful because you've been balancing things out. Okay, you are actually coming out of something here. You got the hand showing up. So somebody could be helping you in need of help, assistance, and guidance. All right, so guys, it's okay to uh, get help. For some of you, you guys don't like help from anybody. Okay, but it's okay to get help from someone. All right, bird perched, waiting for news, package, or letter. Some of you could be waiting on some sort of like message to come through or something like that. August could be significant. So this could be happening now. All right, you got here chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. All right, so pomegranate. This person, there's a pomegranate on there. This person could be very smart, all right, or has some sort of knowledge of the Akashic Records, maybe even spiritual. Okay, we got here needle and thread. A sincere wish is being granted. So for some of you guys, let's say, for example, August 888 portal, you guys were asking for something. This was sincere and it's about to be granted for some of you. OK, and that could be in the form of someone new entering your life. All right, you got here boot. So increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. All right, bell announcement. There's some sort of announcement. Okay, so 
Guys, turn your notification bells on. All right, but you got here, Ant, work, achievement, success. For some of you here, you're going to make some sort of announcement that you got something coming out, all right, or something new um, that you've been working on. Okay, you have been really increasing your efforts when it comes to this okay to achieve some sort of goal now you're about to soar you have the eagle showing up all right triumph over dr troubles and obstacles all right you guys are going to fly right fucking through them all these obstacles all these all these hurdles whatever all these evil eye energies um one more all right so older man all right for some of you here you could be dealing with your parents dealing or relationships with an older man all right because we have older man with the older woman all right, so seahorse, family matters. Can I make it up? You got here, lion. Some of you, time to act here. Some of you could be dealing with a uh, Leo. All right, you got here, purse. So pay attention to your finances. You could be like money pinching. Pay attention to your finances at this time. Okay, it's time for you to act. I feel like your finances are going to start getting better at this time. Okay, but you need to continue increasing your efforts and whatever it is that you're doing. The hills, the hills have eyes. Obstacles to overcome. Okay, so these things that are obstacles right now, they're not going to be an obstacle later on. You're going to fly right through them with that evil, with that eagle. Um, soar, triumph over troubles and obstacles. Somebody could definitely be sending you evil eye energy. All right, so you got here, dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. Somebody who's loyal. Okay, they could be at a distance from you, and you got flowers, so happiness is coming your way. All right, so we got here, shield. You need to defend yourself. Okay, and then pin, new job and career. So for some of you, you need to defend yourself. You need to shield yourself because you're about to do something new. Okay, or you're going to have a new uh, career or a new path that you're on your way to. All right, and you need to protect it. You need to protect that. All right, for some of you, dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. You're going to be hooking up with a friend or something like that, having a good time. Dog barking, advice from a friend. All right, so you got a lot of friends um, showing up. So you could be like hanging out with friends or they could be some sort of like a friendship reunion of some sort or something like that. Yeah, with the hammock here. So you guys could be going on a, on a date or like a friend date or some shit like that. All right, taking a vacation with them. All right, physically or mentally. And you got a fair men with fair women. All right, so some of you could be going on a vacation with an older couple. Okay. Um, some of you are dealing a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair, right? And then you got a fair woman. What's this fair man and fair woman? Kangaroo. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. All right, so there could be some sort of unsettled times in this relationship or something like that. Somebody could be from Australia. All right, you got teapot, deep friendships with someone of the same sex. So for some of you here, I just feel like you guys are going somewhere or you guys are going to be um, traveling or something like that, maybe with close friends or something. Okay, the tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Okay, so you're setting um, some sort of tower um, in your life. All right, set enough, whatever was set in a faulty foundation, that's just crumbling down and you're actually like coming up. All right, so... Guys, keep on the good work. You guys are doing great. Okay, let's pull some of these. Angel guys, bear guys, go ahead and For my collective, what do we got? All right, so not today. Some of you don't want to be bothered. Okay, no dealing, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person's boundaries, still angry. For some of you, you're still angry at this person. Yeah, they could be your soulmate. Yeah, they could be your twin flame. Okay, but at this time, not today, you don't want to deal with it right now. All right, for some of you, you're taking a break from this person. So connections, partnership, agreement, and soul contracts, all right, with not today, all right, for some of you, you're setting healthy boundaries with this person, you might know that this person's your twin flame, all right, but there needs to be some sort of balance, so there needs to be an equal give and take, what is twin flames, all right, for some of you here, you feel like you're stabbed in the back, okay, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking, attack, 
and then you have kisses in the reverse so unconditional loving giving and receiving affection falling in love something is not reciprocal okay for some of you you're in a karmic relationship and then you got stabbed in the back so there's a heartbreak or something like that you guys could be still holding on to what's stabbed in the back all right so you got engagement ring and separation all right, so engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. For some of you, you're tired of being stabbed in the back. All right, you guys could be returning your ring back to this person or this person was stabbed in the back. All right, there's some sort of separation that's coming in. Um, for some of you here, this is like a soulmate coming, twin flames coming back together and karmic relationships ending. Okay, so if you're with a, you know who your twin flame is and they're in a relationship and you could be in a relationship, it's almost like, swap all right so separation sadness missing you they could be missing you they're thinking about you they're yearning for you unsure of your future okay unsure of their future if there even is a future what is separation here then you got date and ascending all right so meeting someone new dating get back out there for some of you you guys haven't done that all right for some of you go on a date Okay, because you need to grow. For some of you, you need to let something go. Okay, this came out in the reverse. Ascending, all right, so transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. I feel like you guys are needing to let something go. Came out in the reverse so that you could ascend, so that you could um, grow, whatever it is that you're doing. All right, for some of you, you're trying something new with the date here. But the date came out in the reverse. What's date? date the sword and the rose clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power okay so for some of you guys you guys are um if somebody does not meet your checklist okay you're cutting them off okay some of you could be very picky it's not that you're picky is that you're grown is that you are you know what you want okay you have some sort of clarity you're going to gain some sort of clarity okay you're going to gain some sort of truth all right have faith love is coming for some of you that you guys have been waiting on love to come through, it's coming, okay? It might be a little delayed at this time, but it's for your protection, okay? Um, always go with, like, always surrender. Surrender to the divine. Let the divine take control of a situation, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do some... Uh, What's the tea? And go from there. Angel guys, for your guys to deliver like clear and precise messages for my collective. Angel guides. What's going on for my collective? What's the energy for my collective? Current situation. What's the current energy for my collective? All right, so your light irritates their demons, so continue to shine. Okay, it came out in the reverse. For someone here, someone does not want you to shine. If you are in the public eye or something like that, if you're religious, if you're spiritual, if you're a tarot reader, if you're into, like, stuff, they don't want you to shine. Okay, they, your light irritates their demons. <laughs> okay, so what else we got? They want you back. <laughs> Wants you back. What else? Cyberbully, they're checking you online. This has been coming out a lot. Cyberbully. You're being bullied online, or they are, or has suffered, or you have suffered from it, or something like that. But we're going to clarify that. We're going to find out who this cyber bully is. There's somebody who's watching you online or something like that. Yeah, they're haunted by the memories. They have flashbacks. Okay, trauma, side effects. In the bottom of the deck, you have bad reputation. This is somebody who basically talked shit about you and made you have some sort of bad reputation or something like that. It's because you've been shining. It's because of the fact that you are becoming spiritual because you're awakening to something because you're shining. Okay, that irritates people. All right, for some of you, 
it's funny that you get more praise from a neighbor than you do from your family. Okay, I just heard that. You get more praise from neighbor than family. Okay. Some of you, it's almost like your family doesn't want to see you succeed, but you get it from different people. Okay, so pick your family. All right, some of you could be like, um, your family could always have like something against you or something like that. That's for some of you. Let's expose these people. What's this? Uh, what's shine here? Angel guys, spirit guys, to give it a like, clear and precise message from my collective. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. What's shine? Your light irritates our demons here. What is shine? Alright, yeah, because you're moving on, because you're letting go, because you're free. They see you free, you're loving you. Okay, so yeah, continue doing that. Now they want you back because they see that you have changed, because they see that you are the person that they always wanted. All right, yeah, their feelings are all over the place. Okay, feelings. Flowers could be significant. Somebody could be coming in and bringing some flowers here. Ladybugs could be significant. Somebody calls you ladybug. Here you go, my ladybug. Smash the like button. Wants you back. What is this? Wants you back. Shocking news. For some of you, this is going to be shocking news. All of a sudden, you want me back? I thought you hated me. What's shocking news with want you back? Toxic lifestyle. Okay, they want you back, but they're still stuck in a toxic lifestyle for some of you. All right, this is some sort of shocking news. For some of you, you could have seen something online or something like that, that this person's out and about getting titty shots or something like that. Toxic. Drinking. They want you back. They went ahead and had their fun. They went ahead and had their toxic life. Whatever it is that they wanted, they, they, they wanted to get it out of their system. Tongue twisting confirmation. What's the shocking news? <laughs> Look at her. Like, for some of you here, wants you back, but somebody could have lied. And then all of a sudden, you looked them up or something like that. And somebody posted a picture and there they were in the background. Drinking or whatever the fuck they were doing. But they want you back. What's shocking news? Fake busy. Okay, this person's fake busy. They act like they're busy. They could have lied to you. Oh, I'm at the hospital. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Yeah, and this is what they were doing. Okay, out and about, fake busy, or acting like they were busy, and then you saw them, or something like that, whatever. People are okay, like, people could do whatever the fuck they want. You're, nobody here can control anybody, okay? So, if they're trying to control you, then don't let them do that. You are in control of your own self, all right? You're responsible for you and only you. What's cyberbully here? You're being bullied online, or they are... Or somebody has suffered from it yeah but you're awakened okay you're illuminating some of you could be illuminators like illuminate the masses with something inspirational okay so they're watching you cyberbully for some of you here this could be like trolls or ops you know what's cyberbully with illumination for some of you here this person could have been watching you or something like that and they're discovering that you have been illuminated Okay, they're discovering some sort of truth about you that they might not have thought about. Okay, yeah. Reckless love and sex. This person has reckless love or sex. Okay, for some of you here, there's somebody here who thought that you were online um, doing something, but in fact, you were, you were illuminated. You were awakened. You're speaking your truth. Okay. Um, for some of you here, there's somebody here who has cyberbully with reckless love and sex. 
have sex with people online and you could have discovered that give me one more what's reckless love psycho crazy ex okay so this is your ex all right they're obsessed they won't let go for some of you here they watch you and they ma they they masturbate looking at you guys you turn that person off i mean on and they turn you off because that's just fucking creepy okay so reckless love with psycho You have been illuminated to this. So, what's haunted? Memories, flashback, trauma, side effects. What's haunted here? Motherfucker, I'll be haunted too. <laughs> if I see this motherfucker looking in my window. Hey, what's up? You remember me? This candy man. I don't know, candy man? Somebody could. Candy man? <laughs> what's haunted? pop the question they have memories and flashbacks of the time that they popped the question okay or that you popped the question what's this memories and flashbacks side effects they have some sort of trauma now they should have said yes they should have um stayed with you but i feel like this person went off to somewhere else okay yeah because it was my way or the highway because they were selfish okay because they were arrogant their pride and ego takes the best of them gets the best of them it's sad that sometimes people are not together because of ego, okay? When there's love, love is kind, love is humble, love is kind, whatever. All that stuff, all right, with my way, ego has to be separated, okay? Love message and heartbreak. Somebody's heartbroken over you. For some of you, this person feels ashamed. Give me one more. For Haunted with the memories and the flashbacks. Alright, yeah, they have some sort of massive regret. They're beating themselves up. Like, fuck. Why? Why could I have not compromised? Okay. Side hustle. Somebody here could have some sort of side hustle. Let me see what's on that point. Cope. <laughs> to cope with things, somebody like focuses on work uber eats maybe they get out of work after a hard day of work and then they go and do doordash or something like that all right that's how they cope with the situation for some of you here this person needs to have a side hustle so that he could um or she could pay for their addictions because you got cope with feeling like shit. All right, somebody's not learned their karmic lessons. Okay, you're still with a karmic tie. But I love you. I love you. All these I love yous leave you in a trap. <laughs> Let's expose these people. Angel guys, spirit guys, for the collective. Who are these people? All right, so who is this? What's this shine? Your light irritates their demon yeah they're recruiting haters okay they're recruiting haters against you because your light irritates them okay because you're in the spotlight at this time some of you could be in the spotlight some of you could be in the public eye some of you could be like readers or something like that they're recruiting haters here somebody could be from spain here okay you got here tiger's eye all right, so helps with grounding, protecting, self-confidence, inner strength, and willpower with clarity. All right, so some of you guys are gaining some sort of clarity or something like that. You need to get some tiger's eye to protect yourself. Somebody has a scar in their forehead. Somebody could have a scar in their forehead or in their eye. Somebody could look like that. What I want you back, wants you back here. What wants you back? Lavender Sage. 
Okay, clears away negative thoughts, energies, harmonizes the mind, enhances intuition, and inspires loving feelings. So for some of you guys, there's somebody here who's doing some sort of like lavender, okay, to calm you down. All right, so they could come in because they miss you. All right, somebody needs to calm down. All right, for some of you here, you need to clear away that negative energy because they're thinking of you constantly, so they don't let you progress. LS could be significant. That could be somebody's initials. What's Lavender Sage with wants you back? All right, yeah, they're hating on your creative ideas. They hate all your creative ideas. For some of you, you guys could be doing something like creating a oil or something lavender or something like that. You guys could be creating something and this person, and it might be weird and it might be taboo. Look at her. She has a, a teddy bear with stitches and shit like that. It doesn't matter. Somebody will like it. Okay, there's weird people out there. That's not that they're weird. It's that they're, they're unique, okay? So they're hating on your creativity. You keep on... You keep on... That's evil eye shit. That's haters exposed, okay? That's evil eye. All right, look at the evil... The red eyes. All right, somebody's sending you evil eye energy. Hating on your creative ideas. You guys continue doing it. Continue doing you. Somebody could have a butterfly tattoo... Or a dragonfly tattoo. Somebody could like chokers. Or like to be choked. I don't know. What's this reckless love? What's reckless love? That was going to flip over. Spreading rumors about you that you are the one that had reckless love when they're the ones that have reckless love. Some of you here are fucking celibate. That's the sad part. You guys are in your healing spiritual gifts. You're under healing. You're like meditating, contemplating, healing something. Who's this psycho, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go? Clarify psycho. You're your worst enemy. Okay, so. You cause most of your problems. Most of the bad things that happen to you are yourself. For some of you, flip a switch. You guys could be the psychos. <laughs> Somebody who doesn't want to let go of something. Alright, so. What's this crazy ex, psycho? Right, they're remote viewing, looking into your life with their mind. With Psycho, they're remote viewing, they're watching you. Let them watch, show them, give them a show, bro. <laughs> Smash the like button, guys. Hit that like, subscribe, if you like the vibes here. It helps the channel grow. I guess the message is out there to everyone. Let's see. What's my way? Pride and eagle. Arrogance. With massive regrets here. For some of you, you're, you're your worst enemy because it's almost like they think of you, you think of them as telepathic or something like that. Okay, you're your worst enemy here. If you continue... <laughs> This person has a soft spot for you. They could be ugly. They could be looking like in the window. All you can see is like they might have a, like a, a gap in their teeth or something like that. No shade to anybody who has gap in their teeth. Okay, but this person in this picture has it. I don't want to pull it out because it's going to mess up my thing. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you. All right, this person's like... For some of you guys, you guys can't let go of this person. You like their crazy. You like their cycle. This is a pattern. This could be a pattern, a, a, a routine of some sort. Get a dream catcher and hang over your bed. <laughs> For some of you, you guys have some sort of nightmare. You're getting nightmares at night. What is massive regret here with haunted? They're always trying to one-up you. They're in competition with you. Okay. They're going to be in regret. Everybody has brings their own unique thing to the table. Okay, so they could be under pressure with anxiety. Okay, trying to make decisions. Time's running out here. Okay, but this is a love-hate relationship. You guys are always bumping heads here. They're always trying to one-up you. For some of you, you realize this is a fucking uh, phony trickster. Somebody who just gives you illusions. All right, this is the fairy tale. The white picket fence. Beauty and the Beast. Aladdin. Whatever. Um, somebody could like cartoons. 
All right, you got here energy vampire. Somebody wants to take your energy. They're always trying to one-up you excessively, demanding your attention or emotional support. Okay, and then you have here cedar. Fresh woodsy smell cleanses a, a new home of his old energies. Okay, so if you guys have bought a new home or something like that, you need to cleanse it. All right, so cedar is very good. It cleanses the old how the old energies of an unwant of unwanted spirits while inviting fresh energetic vibes and protecting the new occupants. Bad reputation in the bottom of the deck. What do they hate? The way you make your money. Bad reputation. Envious of your career and the money that you make, hating on your spiritual gifts. For some of you here, they could be giving you a bad reputation. They're mine because you pay them no mind. Let's have those. You guys are over this shit. If you're not over this shit, you need to be. Let's see. Let's jump into the tarot and see what's going on. Angel guys, spirit guys, so good little lights for my collective. Clear and precise messages for the collective. What's going on in the current energy for my collectives at this time? The devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy, you're releasing fear you're releasing addictions you're releasing anything that no longer serves you okay this is obsession all right you're releasing any type of obsession for some of you this reading was this is this could be you guys letting go of something okay so the devil in the reverse talks about overcoming addictions okay you guys could be overcoming addictions or something like that with the devil you guys could be letting go of a capricorn for some of you what's the devil in the reverse you're taking control of a situation and you're becoming more independent. All right, the Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. You're releasing all the negativity, all the things that they try to steal from you. Okay, this is conniving energy. Somebody's releasing the lies. What's the devil with the Seven of Swords? The devil in the reverse with the Seven of Swords. I know um, this is not going to go for everybody, but there's people that have some sort of like, they're kleptos, all right? They go to a store and they just steal something. For some of you, you guys are stopping that shit. Or you guys have some sort of like a uh, scare or something like that. Not for some of, this is a collective. This is uh, for a lot of people, okay? So somebody is stopping, like they're not stealing anymore is what I'm picking up here. That's for someone. What's this devil with the... Um, Seven of Swords. The Devil in the Reverse with the Seven of Swords. Cutting at Cold Turkey. Okay, for some of you here, you guys could be, um, taking someone to court. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Double Aquarius here. What is this King of Swords spirit? You could be speaking your truth about something. That would be the Eight of Swords. The eight, I'm talk, I'm counting here swords, right? Seven of swords with that one sword is eight of swords. Okay, and then you got the eight of wands. So yeah, somebody could be, something about an attorney, all right? Something about being in a prison or in a spiritual jail of some sort. Somebody is releasing somebody. Okay, somebody could be in jail. All right, and somebody's getting an attorney. There could be some sort of communication that's coming in. What's this? What's the devil? The Knight of Cups. You're releasing any type of offers that are attached to anything that is tempting. Anything that is devil energy. Addictions, greed, envy, materialism, obsession. Anybody that's obsessed or anything like that. All right, you're releasing that. All right, if they come in with an offer, you don't want that shit. All right, you're like going a different way. King of Swords, you're cutting that shit off. What's this Eight of Wands? The Hierophant. 
Yeah, you're moving into calmer waters. You are uh, moving into like a, a good relationship here. For some of you, this is an Aquarius, Tor uh, an Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, who is reaching out for a long-term commitment to a Taurus, for some of you. Okay. What's this, Hierophant? Two of Pentacles. For some of you here, the King of Swords is somebody who's very logical, okay? So you could be, like, speaking out something with the Eight of uh, Wands, okay? That's, like, communication. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. That's about a long-term commitment. Somebody wants a long-term commitment, but they're debating whether or not to come in and reach out to you. They're kind of, like, juggling. They have a lot in their plate. There's still some sort of imbalance. Okay, for some of you, this person is dealing with somebody else. Okay, so they want to release that contract with the devil in the reverse. Somebody wants to release a contract that they're in so that they can come and reach out to the person that they need to be with. Okay, with the Hierophant, somebody who is long-term, traditional beliefs, right? Something along those lines. What's the blockages here? The Six of Cups, the past. Okay, you could keep returning to your past. What's the blockages here with the Six of Cups? Your past doesn't let you go. Or you don't let go of your past, for some of you. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, it's a cycle that keeps on coming back around. For some of you, you guys are soft-hearted when it comes to this person. Could be an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn. What's the Wheel of Fortune here? For some of you, the blockage is that you keep going back to your past. You need to go ahead and start something new. Go, go towards something new. Okay, so the past keeps haunting you. Alright, so that's the blockage. The devil keeps coming around in a circle. Alright, whenever you're up here, he comes back around. Try to drop you. Alright, so... What is... Um, what happened in the recent past, Spirit? Eight of Pentacles. You guys have been working on something. What's the Eight of Pentacles in the recent past, Spirit? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You guys are very skilled at something. All right, you guys are planning on something. All right, you guys could be planning to work on something. All right, something could be at a distance or someone could be at a distance with the Two of Wands. All right, for some of you, you guys are going to be traveling and working while you travel. Um, some of you could work like remotely with that remote viewing showing up there with the two of wands. Yeah, somebody could work from like anywhere. Okay, so go on this trip, take a trip. What's the two of wands here? That's planning travels. Or somebody could be at a distance from you and they wanna work something out with you. What's this eight of pentacles? What's the Eight of Pentacles? All right, the Nine of Wands. But you're keeping and maintaining boundaries towards this person. For some of you here, you have your walls are built. The Wounded Warrior. What's this Nine of Wands? Because the Nine of Wands came out kind of like sideways here. Okay, for some of you, you're giving up on trying to work on something with somebody who's at a distance from you. What's the Nine of Wands? Aries, Leo, Sag. The Five of Pentacles. What's this Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands? For some of you here, there's somebody here who left you out in the cold. Now they're being left out in the cold. Okay, and they might have to, like, move somewhere, like, at a distance, maybe with family or something like that, financial constraints. Okay, for some of you here, you could be choosing between two work, two jobs. Okay, but don't give up. Be resilient, or you guys don't give up on something. What's this Five of Pentacles? 
For some of you here, how can you work on something when somebody left you out in the cold? Okay, it's almost like you're the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. You don't give up easily, but at this time, like with the Five of what's the Five of what's the Five of Pentacles? Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, this is a new opportunity. You guys are about to regain everything that you've lost. Okay, things are going to be an equal give and take. Okay, for some of you. All right, you can have a job opportunity that awaken, uh, opens up or something like that. And it's going to give you some sort of money. Like, it's going to be a good opportunity. All right, it might require you to move somewhere for some of you. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like it's going to help you. For some of you here, I'm also picking up here, like, maybe when you were left out in the cold, okay, you were left... You were... My dog just farted and moved. I can't. Anyway, Nine of Pentacles. You guys were going through it, but you still... And you were in the Five of Pentacles, and you still gave... All right, so you're going to get everything that you have. You're going to regain everything that you've lost. Okay, this is almost like good karma coming your way. What's on your mind? The Six of Wands, being in the public eye, getting recognition, okay, being victorious, you're moving into, like, victory here with the Six of Wands. Some of you are in the public eye. What's the Six of Wands here? Leo Energy with the Page of Pentacles. Some of you could do Tarot online. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Some of you here are going to get a raise of some sort. It's going to be a good opportunity. All right, for some of you, you're going to get a message of some sort. And they're going to be jealous. There's going to be a lot of people that are jealous. Okay, with the Five of Swords. What's this Five of Swords? For some of you, don't shine, don't dim your light in order to fit in. Okay, you continue shining. You continue shining here. Um, and if they don't like it, that's on them. Fuck it. You know, what's this Five of Swords? Yeah, Ten of Swords because you've been backstabbed, betrayed. All right, Five of Swords with the Ten of Swords, I don't like very much. That could be something fatal. All right, if somebody's been trying to, like, stop your growth or something like that, there could be somebody with the Page of Pentacles doing some sort of magic or something like that. It's going right back to them, and this is where they're going to fucking end up. Ten of Swords, dead. Okay. Unalived. Keep fucking with magic. What's in the near future for my collective? The sun in the reverse... What's the sun in the reverse? Leo energy. The sun in the reverse. Sadness, depression, delays, loss of hope, pessimism. What's this in the near future? What's this? The sun in the reverse in the near future. I feel like some of you guys are giving up on something. You just want to be happy. All right, the Page of Cups. Yeah, you don't want pebbles. You don't want something that's... Um, page of Cups could be like insincere. Okay, something that's insincere. An apology of some sort. Somebody's dropping down their, their ego and apologizing to you for some of you. All right, what's this Page of Cups with the sun and then the lovers? Yeah, they want to come back in. They want to reach back in. But for some of you here, the sun is in the reverse. You know that you're not going to be happy, so don't allow this shit to come back in. For some of you, this person is very immature. They say whatever they want you to know. They, they say whatever they want to say. What's the lovers? The five of wands. There's going to be a lot of fights and chaos. This person still has some sort of, like, shit going on in the background. What's the outcome? Actually, no. What's hidden? that my collective doesn't see yet. What's hidden? What's hidden? The Hermit. You guys are going within Virgo energy. You're isolating yourself. Okay, you guys are um, getting some sort of introspection. All right, you're gaining some sort of clarity. Some of you are awakening to something. What's the Hermit under... Um, 
the empress yeah you guys are giving birth to new ideas it could be self-help books or something like that all right towards libra all right for some of you you have a mother who's uh passed on and they're watching over you what's this hermit with the empress for some of you you're ghosting a situation you are the empress you have the ability to create all right you're very nurturing you're very fertile with ideas okay um for some of you you guys might not know that you're pregnant what's in the environment the moon the moon cancerian energy something hidden is coming to light what's in the environment with the moon six of pentacles somebody wants an equal give and take you're trying to balance the deceit somebody's trying to balance some sort of deceit some sort of lies or something like that somebody could be lying about money how much they make or something like that there's secrets here Somebody could be keeping something a secret that they're giving to another person, okay, or they're helping another person. What's the outcome for the collective spirit guides? Knight of Wands. What's the outcome with the Knight of Wands? Six of Swords. You're moving into calmer waters, okay. Give me one more for the outcome. right knight of swords you got two knights and the six of swords what's the knight of wands with the knight of swords guys don't act on your impulse whatever this is that don't act on your impulse if somebody comes in with an offer or something like that take your time okay what's this knight of swords somebody could be rushing in okay while you're leaving it's almost like <laughs> spirit is intervening as you're moving to another state this person could be moving out okay or something like that what's the six of swords with the knight of swords <laughs> knight of pentacles night 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 you got all the nights out nights are active they're not passive energy so there's somebody here who wants to come in rush in and fight with you or argue with you or something like that then have sex with you and then give you some sort of truth or something like that while you're over here moving into calmer waters Okay, so for some of you, you're dealing with three different people. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Aries, Leo, Sag, or uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, but at the end of the day, the Six of Swords is there, so you're moving into calmer waters. What is this Six of Swords with all these knights here? Yeah, this is a third-party situation, Three of Swords. I picked it up in the upright. Three of Swords, yeah, somebody put you in a third-party situation. All right, you're moving into calmer waters. You're leaving that shit behind. What's this three of swords? For some of you here, with this offer, with this ex, you're your own enemy, cyberbully. They could be watching you here. They're fighting with their, I said that earlier, they're fighting with their divine count, their kar karmic partner to reach out to you because they made the wrong mistake by not choosing you. Okay, so some of you, that's what's going on here. Three of Swords. What's the Three of Swords? The Tower. Yeah, they're having Tower moments after Tower moments. They're like, damn, man, I should have kept the other one. I should have kept the... I should have kept you guys, whatever the case may be. Why didn't I keep the Collective? Tower, Scorpio Energy. They could be fighting because Knight of Wands has a bat. The other one has a sword. That's hasty communication. All right. Somebody got caught cheating. Somebody got caught uh, screwing around. Somebody could have gotten an STD or something like that. So this person got mad and they're like, eh, what the fuck? So now they decided to rock the other way. All right. But they're taking a long ass time to reach out to you. 
but they've already had this tower moment, I feel. What's the tower? The High Priestess? Alright, you knew it. You called it. Pisces energy. Somebody was kept a secret here. What's the High Priestess? For some of you here, probably Ace of Swords. For some of you here, you guys are High Priestess or you guys do tarot or something like that. Um, you have some sort of knowledge to the Akashic Records. Yeah, look, Cancerian Energy. You're very triumphant. You're very victorious. All right, you said this was going to happen. Okay. For some of you, there could be somebody here who thinks that you're the one causing this. And it's not. It's just, look, judgment. It's on their head. <laughs> All right, wake up call. They fucked with the wrong person. They, they were fucking with the wrong person. A high priestess is somebody who's divine. Somebody who's connected to source. With the tower. What's the high priestess with the tower? Somebody's doing magic. <laughs> King, Queen of Wands. Somebody's doing magic to cause chaos or in, in your life or something like that. Guys, check your cars. Okay, make sure your wheels are good. Somebody could be an officer, a paramedic, or somebody who um, drives. Somebody could drive a motorcycle, but somebody here um, likes to drive fast. The chariot. What's this chariot? This could be a cancer. The two of cups. I feel like you're walking into your divinity. I feel like you are in the way to finding your soulmate or you're about to get in together like victory. All right. The lack of focus that you had, you don't have it anymore. You're focused on the right things and what you really want. Okay. A checklist. Okay. This person meets that checklist and now you're picky. You're not picky. You just know what you want. Okay. You're not going to go back to these broke people and shit like that. You're not going to be dealing with these karmics. Okay. So what's this queen of wands doing? Here with the high priestess and the top and the Aquarius energy healing. What's this um Queen of Wands here? For some of you, this is an Aquarius or this Queen of Wands is doing something to an Aquarius for some of you. Yeah, they look, they're watching you. <laughs> Spying. Queen of Wands is somebody who could be like into black magic. They could be a hoe too. They could have a black cat. they're watching an Aquarius what is this what's the star ten of cups all right you're healing family dynamics I see you getting into a, a relationship you have a sense of foresight okay you're waiting on your ships to come in all right they're watching you who gives a fuck let them watch Okay, you could be a high priestess. You guys are very intuitive, right? You know that there's power moments happening in their life. Okay, especially with the Knight of Wands here. And then this this person liked to be chased and then they went ahead and chased the wrong person. Okay, this is the one that's kind of like... Look at this shit, how it came out. All right, you don't want to be chasing anybody, okay? Or you don't want to be chased. You know what you want. You're here like trying to be stable, reliable. Okay, investing in good things and your money, making good investments. All right, this person put you in a third party situation, it's over, done. Okay, you guys are going to be triumphant. You guys already called this, you guys are going to be triumphant. They're having tarot moments left and right. You guys had the foresight, you guys know, you guys could be looking at land to buy land. Okay, with the three of wands. All right, waiting on your ships to come in so that you can make a break for it. All right, you could be dealing with an Aries for some of you. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let's go ahead and pull some advice. Advice for the collective. Angel guys, spirit guys, to good little night. All right, addictions comes in many forms. Balance is key. I saw that with the devil coming out. All right, so if you guys are dealing with addictions or something like that, balance is key. Okay, let that shit go. It's no good for you. 
right? Expressing depression, express experiencing depression and anxiety due to lack of motivation. Get up and do something about it. Don't quit. Guys, get up from the bed. Stop thinking about your past. Stop thinking about your future. Live in the present. Time is never promised. Yeah, you're protected. 444. You guys could be seeing that synchronicity. Protection. You're protected by and encouraged by the divine to continue on your path to stability. All right, so you got 111. You've been enlightened. Okay, you guys could be seeing those synchronicities. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius 14. All right, somebody could be 41. All right, but yeah, enlighten, be aware of your persistent thoughts and ideas as they're manifesting quickly into your reality. All right, when a person values you, they would never put themselves in a position to lose you. All right, so if they really truly valued you and they went off doing this shit after the guy after the person with the big dick after that person who was lusty and free-spirited they went chasing after that person then they didn't value you so guess what it's your turn to value yourself all right karma's hitting their pockets all right chances are they went over there because of money because they're gold diggers Okay, fake friends and family are influencing their actions. For some of you, this is their fake fan, fam, uh, fake friends and family that are influencing this person. This person's a follower. You don't need a follower in your life. You guys are leaders. Okay, you make things happen. All right, 888, you're balancing things, set solid foundations to ensure future prosperity. The strength that my soul was born from. The strength of my soul was born from the pain that once brought me to my knees. So you guys have gone through it. All right, that's kind of giving me this energy. Nine of Wands. Aries Leo Sag, the Wounded Warrior. What else? Advice for my collective. Weighing your options. You could be like, should I stay? Should I go? You should go. Go on to good and better things. Okay, you're being supported by the Divine 333. A lot of you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities in numbers or feathers or whatever the case may be. Okay, so 333, support your spirit guides are answering your prayers and gifting you with the tools needed for your progress towards your goal. Okay, the sun, conscious mind and ego, the sun illuminates. You guys could be illuminating something. You guys are going to be very happy, right? That's warmth, that's joy. But it's also your conscious mind and your ego, bro eagle okay so for some of you the sun and then leo energy it's around this time of um 723 to 822 you guys could have a lot of confidence right now don't be afraid to take action in your alignment with your soul purpose what's this leo some of you could be dealing with a leo experiencing confusion causing burdens there could be a leo confused or causing burdens for some of you mental clutter blocks your soul from ascending spiritually or they could have Leo in their chart. All right, remember, this is for the collective, all right? So take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't forget to smash the like button. Like, share, subscribe. A person can love another so much that they sometimes push them away. You got here, your mind is a magnet. Be mindful of your thoughts. You're bringing that shit in. So if you're, like, thinking of this person that's no good for you, you're bringing him in. So think of things that you want to manifest, especially right now. During this portal and all this stuff that's happening, um, all these like people manifesting, all these people learning about spirituality and stuff like that, you need to keep your mood silent, okay, and be mindful of your thoughts because you can make things happen. Don't dismiss intuitive downloads, all right? What's hidden is coming to light, and this goes for everybody. Something hidden is coming to light. There's a lot of people exposing a lot of people, all right? Moving on is one of the most difficult things that you needed to do, but you needed to do it. All right, focus on you, love, beauty, pleasure. Okay, Venus energy. Um, Guys, that's what I got for you. I am wishing you peace, love, and prosperity. I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. Love you all. See you in the next one. Peace.